Hey guys, I wanted to put this uh, quick video together. I had a lot of questions about these uh, water pressure blow off valve kits. Um, this is video is going to show you how, uh, or basically show these working in action. Uh, I'm not going to be on the water riding it because I don't want to drop my phone. I'm going to get a GoPro later and show you guys because everybody wants to see this thing working before they purchase, which I'm the same way. I want to see it working. So uh, I'm going to show you guys this thing working on a Kawasaki 300X Ultra. Uh, these are my three outlet ports for the Bluff valve kits are just going to be your two front ones. This one was just your normal water flow um, indicator. And then these two are going to be your pressure release valves. One's the engine and this one's the intercooler. So I'm going to show you guys. Um, we just hooked this up to a garden hose so you can see a normal flushing an engine on actually um, how much pressure we're actually over pressuring these systems by just the simple flush, everyday flush that you do when you're done with your ski. Um, I guess that'd be only the saltwater riders like me. But um, anyways, yeah, I'm going to show you. Here's the garden hose line. You can see it follow out here. I'm going to let you follow. It's kind of dark. It's getting dark anyways. I'll show you the garden hose so you know I'm not pulling any tricks on you. Um, but I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to show you guys how much water pressure comes out of here. This is your normal uh, spot where all the water pressure comes out through your pump when you're back flushing. Um, like I said, this one's the intercooler. One on the left is your engine. We're just doing the intercooler right now to show you that one. Uh, so I don't have to have the engine running, you can't hear me. Um, but then we're gonna come up to the front and you're gonna see the excess pressure being coming out of your outlet. This is the intercooler side. You can see how much pressure is coming out. Like you can see the water is pouring out probably more than the back is. So that's showing you that you're releasing over half the pressure that this engine, this intercooler system typically be having. Um, like I said in my last videos, if you watch them first, you'll be able to understand this a little bit better than just starting from this video. So you can see exactly how these kits work. Uh, this is installed, you won't be able to see it inside anymore, the intercooler is too big. Um, once again, these intercoolers on the Kawasaki's are $2,700, basically $3,000 if you break one because you overpressure this system. If you just want to flush it and you overpressure it, you have $3,000 you're going to end up paying because of that. Um, so having this kit, you can see right now just the benefits of that. You can turn your garden hose on as high pressure as you want and it will never go over. You can, uh, like I said, these valves are adjustable. I got mine set at 10 pounds when it starts to release. It's a pre-pressure release. And then you got your, I got it at 15 for max pressure. So when you hit a spike of 15 pounds, um, it'll release all the pressure, anything else other than 15 pounds in your system out that valve. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's, you can see how it works. I'm gonna come back to the garden hose. You can see me shut it off. You watch the water pressure go away out of both ends. Boom, just like that. Um, these kits are three hundred dollars. Uh, I know it sounds a little expensive, but uh, three thousand dollars is a lot more expensive when you uh, break your intercooler, or if you get into the engine side of it and you have issues there. Then uh, anybody that's ever torn an engine apart on one of these uh, supercharged ones knows that they're dumping some cash in. So, anyways, yeah, like I said, get a hold of me on Facebook, Instagram. Um, my YouTube will have links there, so you guys can follow me there and. Uh, we can go from there. Yeah, three hundred dollars, and um, I'll probably give you guys a discount for the first few people buying them. I already got a few people interested. I might already be out of stock, so uh, we might have a back order already. Which, like, this is one of my first sales I've ever done privately like this. So it's kind of funny to say you got a back order already on your first uh, first time. But anyways, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.